Hey, people, you know, in my, in my last video, I said that I need a short time out from YouTube. And you people thought I was going to quit or I was, I will upload the next video in six months or something. That's kind of not true, because I just said uh, I have a lot of work to do, especially on the weekends, you know, birthday stuff and friends getting married and other stuff and some stuff that may surprise you sometime, if you like animals. And I just wanted to say, hey, you people were over exaggerating, I think, or uh, I wasn't clear enough in that video. I just want to say, hey, I'll be back soon. Maybe three, two or three weeks or something. So, everything's fine. Calm down. Farvan is still alive. And it's good. Okay. By the way, look what I got. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Okay, first question. Hey, Father Von, if you could ever have a beer with any being from any mythology, be it a god, person, mythical creature, who would it be and why? Love your video. Love your videos. Keep that great work up. Yes. Greetings from Czech Republic. Sure. Uh, uh, I mean, cheers. P.S. I just got into Armageddon because of you. Great band. Cheers. It is a great band. It was a great band, unfortunately. Mm. Uh, mm. From any mythology. Whoa. Uh, wow. I don't know, man. Probably Jesus. Just to see... Uh, just to see who he is. He was. Or something. Is that mythology? Probably, huh? Kind of. Yeah, probably Jesus. Extreme Metal Music Snake. Oh, what was your name? Ovnir. Extreme Metal Music Snake. Is there a song that describes black metal for you? Happy birthday, by the way. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, it's... My Soul for His Glory by uh, Behexen. That's a... That's def definitely, yeah. That's black metal for me. I mean, like, totally. Bass is hutus. You like feet or armpits? No, not really. I mean, it's it's just feet or armpits. Nah, I like hair. Great hair is nice. Red hair is nice. Baba took A. I don't know what I expected with my question, but now I do expect Lederhosen in the next Q&A. Do you expect me to own Lederhosen? I don't got Lederhosen. Okay, <laughs> I'm not from Bavaria. I never saw actual Lederhosen in real. That's how rare they are. <laughs> Mind blown. No, there are, there are no Lederhosen in Germany. Only in Bavaria. Sorry, no Lederhosen for you, Baba Tuk. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> nice name. Hey, what are your thoughts on the new Mugwa album? Cheers. I listened to it one time. And I, I already had about three beers. And I still thought it was kind of boring. The thing is, I had high expectations. And that's the... That's a fault. Never have high expectations. Sounds stupid or something, but... Um, don't expect too much. I mean, like, never. Unless you want to be um, disappointed. Yeah, it's kind of it was kind of boring, sorry. I like the sound, though. But, yeah, I, I mean, I only listened to it one time, huh? so I, I don't want to want to make a quick opinion, but the first first listen was a little boring. Use the toe sign him. Yeah, pretty good with that. If you have a birthday party Will your birthday party played only or mostly black metal? Uh, do you use black metal song as an alarm clock song or song that makes you sleep easily and well? If you do, could you tell the song name? Wow, uh, 
birthday party with mostly or only black metal? Probably no, because um, I'm the only person who listens to black metal, except for two of my friends. The rest of my friends doesn't listen to black metal. Some of them don't even listen to metal. Yeah, I know. Friends. And um, uh, black metal song as an alarm clock? No. Uh, no. I, I, when I was younger, I had um, Better to Rain in Hell by Cradle of Filth um, as an alarm clock. And <clears throat> that never, never, I mean, that's my opinion, never take a song as an alarm clock because you will hate the song at least after five days or something. If you hate waking up like I do. Um, I know, I, I don't. I, my alarm is like. That's like. It's okay for me to wake up to that. Can't get any worse. And um, song that makes me sleepy? No. But also, when I was younger, I listened to uh, a lot, a lot, um, Geliebte des Regens uh, by Norgarot. Yes. I mean, the whole album, not the song. Also, the song, huh? because it's on the album. Yeah. Wow. Natalie Wolf. Hi. Great video as always. Question. If you were to make a film, what genre would it be? Uh, probably like the David Lynch thing I made. Huh? Huh. Like that, you know, click on that. But not yet, after the video. <laughs> uh, so some surrealistic stuff, maybe, or a mystery thriller or mystery f movie. Because, or uh, a really scary one, because I think modern horror movies are crap, and I mean all of them. So, uh, probably really scary, uh, creepy movie, maybe without any blood at all. That, that would be the genre, I guess. Metalhead Geek 76 2. If you were to master one guitar technique, which one would it be and why? I can show you. And you will laugh. I mean, don't laugh about me. Because it breaks my little heart. It's the... Okay, it is embarrassing. You can laugh about me. You can make fun of me. It's the gallop. I can't do that. Uh, I can't do that pretty fast. That's... You know the... The thing that of uh, I'm on a mouth, the, the, the Persian of Vikings. I know, it's it's not uh, it's not a lot I want. I just want to do that faster. <laughs> and I call myself a metal guitarist, you know. I'm not even able to make the the, the gallop. Yes, welcome to my world. Felipe Ravanello. Hey, for one, what brings you to listen to new bands that you never heard before? Have never heard. Or before. Greetings from Brazil. Brazil. Um, I oh, I listen to new bands all the time because uh, I'm subscribed to Black Metal Promotion, a YouTube channel that provides black metal albums every single day, and I listen to every album he publishes. So I, I listen to new bands about every day. Yeah. That's why I can't remember any band names. When people ask me, hey, uh, what do you listen to? What's what's your favorite bands right now? I, I say, I always say, uh, 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 I, I don't know, Inquisition. <laughs> yeah. Kanye. What? Kanye. Kanye. What are your top three Slayer albums? Poo. Hmm. Uh, probably. Self of Heaven. Uh, Seasons in the Abyss and uh, Rain and Blood. Uh, and and um, South of Heaven is my favorite album. And Rain and Blood is my, my least favorite album of the top three. Yeah. Next question. Petrus Ratacik. Ratacik. I don't know, man. Or, or Ratacik. Hey, for one, what do you think of the Dutch black metal? It great. I mean, uh, bands like... Yeah, speaking Dutch. Bands like... Uh, 
Flusterars. <laughs> Flusterars. I don't know. Or, uh, yeah, there is it. Band names. And even uh, um, Urfaust is nice. And uh, the famous one, you know. And Wedergangig. Wedergangig. Awesome stuff. I mean, the Dutch black metal is really, really interesting. I never thought that those that little country with only, I don't know, a few million whatever people. I mean, it's a country with a shore. It's always kind of atmospheric stuff. I really love Dutch black metal. Thanks for that question. Barney Barnes. Hey, Barney Barnes. Black metal. Why some, tel why some talented musicians in the genre do not play live shows? I think it's because uh, anxiety or arrogance. Maybe both. Hmm? Uh, I think a lot of black metal musicians have personal problems and black metal is the only, uh, the only way for them to express that. And uh, if you have personal problems, would you, would you enter a stage and say, hey, Listen to that song I wrote when I was crying or whatever. Eh? No, probably not. So, yeah. Sebastian Zeelander. Or, or Sebastian Seelander. What's your favorite guitar? Happy birthday, thanks. <laughs> you mean uh, of my my own guitars? My favorite? It's probably the newest one. The, the Dian. The expensive Dian. Or it's this one. That's cool, I like that. It looks so nice. I'm a fan of V's and um, nice. Um, my favorite guitar, that, uh, favorite guitar that I don't own myself is probably uh, a Dian V or uh, a V from uh, Solar Guitars or an E-Type, even though I don't like the E-Type. I think it would fit me really well on stage, maybe. I'll probably buy a Solar Guitar someday. Ula, ula. Prepare yourself for an order. <laughs> Stefan Walter, Bandcamp or Spotify? Let the war begin. <laughs> you know, from a consumer's perspective, I don't use Spotify or Bandcamp a lot. I use Spotify only to listen to one podcast. That's all. I don't, I don't use Spotify because I still buy CDs. Yeah. But from a consumer's perspective, uh, I think Spotify is much better because it has a nice interface, uh, user interface, etc. And yeah, you can find a lot of stuff there. Okay, on the other hand, you can find nearly everything on Bandcamp. But Bandcamp is not that easy to handle, I think. From an artist's perspective, Bandcamp is so much better because... Uh, uh, at least it pays more money, that's all I can say, you know. Uh, Spotify, you, I earn nothing from Spotify, basically nothing. About, I earned uh, to this date about seven cents or eight. So, wow. <laughs> Ferrari is coming, you know. And uh, Bandcamp is fair, you know. Bandcamp takes a share of, I think, 15% or something. Meaning, when if somebody buys uh, my stuff, for 100 euros or something, I get uh, 85. That's cool. That will never happen, but that's cool. So, uh, Bandcamp, yay, yay. Spotify, yay, nay. Okay? Yeah. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I don't want to use that Ola England term because uh, it's Ola England's term, but I, I say uh, Farvan, the explainer. Used to sign in. Used to sign in. Is that what? Yeah, used to sign in. It's it's just yeah. Now I got your name. You again. If gods are nature, what are evils? F philosophical question again. My thoughts about evil in the world is is simple. Evil comes from only one thing, and that's if people think they are better than other people or animals or whatever. That's where evil begins. That's the root of evil. Yes. People thinking they are much something better. That's the root of all evil. Or, as I always say, respect is everything. Yeah. Exina. Hey, Farvan. 
What if black metal becomes mainstream? What do you mean with mainstream? Is it, isn't it mainstream already? <coughs> yeah, what if me black metal becomes mainstream? Then I maybe then I earn some money or something. No, uh, I don't know. I still listen to it. I mean, I love the music. I don't know. I don't like the fact that it's underground music. I still, I, I just love the music. And I listen to the Beatles, man. I mean, how mainstream can you get? Malfast FD. Are you playing Will of Warcraft? Classic. No. I never played uh, uh, an online online game, an MMO RPG, is that right? Yeah, I'm so good. No, I never played that. I know I look like that. You like oh, long hair and no girlfriend. Oh, he probably plays World of Warcraft. No, I don't do that. Dunkelheit. Hey, Father Von. Greetings from Portugal. Do you know any bands from Portugal? Uh, and do you ever drink any Portuguese beer? Keep on the good work, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, I actually know some bands of Portugal. Filini Grantium Infernalium. Luxfera. The first two albums are pretty nice, I gotta say. And uh, uh, Corpus Christi, of course. Yeah, that's it. And I uh, sometimes drink uh, uh, Sag Sagres. Sagris? Is that right? Sagris? It is from Portugal, right? hate that beer, you know? But man, what's that for beer? There's uh, corn in it. They, th It's brewed with corn. Ugh! Sorry, man. I used to love that beer. But at some point I said, whoa, this beer is awful. Sorry, guy. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Portugal friends. But uh, the music is nice. Black metal is nice. Portuguese black metal is nice. Uh, Liam, Liam, Roddy, why are you vegetarian? You know, I woke up someday, it was in summer 2017, and I said, no more meat, and that's it. That was the beginning. There was no actual reason. The only reason, if, if there was a reason, it's uh, for my own health, because, uh, yeah, all the medicine and stuff that's given to the animals cannot be healthy for you. And, uh, yeah. And I like animals. And um, uh, I know saying that as a German is kind of, you know, like, oh, why do you say stuff like that? But I say it. The stuff that happens to the animals nowadays is like the Holocaust. But just every single day. First name, last name. Uh, <laughs> I, like, I like your name. <laughs> How much money do you earn from music? <laughs> I try to look on Spotify and see Document 6 has 8 monthly listeners, Dubartoluk has 11 and Farvan has 49, really? That's a lot. Where can you see that? I I'm not really into Spotify, you know. And it kind of worried me about starting a black metal project. Dude, do you are you saying that you want to start a black metal project to uh, make money or what? Whew. Start a black metal project because you want to start a black metal project because you love black metal. If you want to make money, start a, I don't know, pop music thing or rap, maybe. Rap is super uh, um, famous in Germany nowadays. And I don't get any money from the Document 6 stuff, because uh, our drummer is the, the head of the band, and he does everything and pays nearly everything. He paid, he paid for my guitar cabinet, you know? He bought it, and pedals I use, and uh, yeah. Rolf, you're crazy, and I, but I like you. And he... Uh, pays for uh, you know gas to uh, drive to concerts 600 kilometers uh, etc no I don't want any money from document 6 I just play to have fun uh, from Spotify and iTunes and Apple music and Amazon I made uh, about $25 so far in the last yeah eight months $25 I mean, like, it's $25. It's not nothing, okay? But uh, yeah, uh, that all has nothing to do with money, you know? It's all fun. But getting some money is always nice, you know? Because uh, I need to buy microphones and cameras and whatever. Oh, by the way, I saw someone bought everything from Bandcamp I got. Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you very much. It was, uh, I think it was... 15, 15 euros or something? That was nice. Thanks, man.
Concobar, what is your favorite chord? Ooh, I don't know if it's in tune, but uh, it's simple, you know, like, it's, it's probably the, the, the most favorite chord for beginner guitarists, but I also like it because I am a beginner. Always sad. I'm always sad. Like, okay, that was G, uh, no, D, uh, D, whatever. I don't know what what the uh, the chord is called. Yeah, because I'm, I'm I'm such a good guitar player. I don't need to remember chord names. Life acts. Hello, Coop. I mean, for fun. What's your favorite David Lynch movie? And what other directors do you like? Choose from Australia. <sighs> Favorite David Lynch movie? It depends. It's either Mulholland Drive or Lost Highway. Both are awesome. Every movie has its own kind of strangeness and awesome scenes. Other directors? Lars von Trier from Denmark. Uh, Quentin Tarantino. Like, I mean, Quentin Tarantino, you can see that he loves movies. You can see that and feel that. And the dialogues are so awesome. And yeah, Quentin Tarantino is nice. Mainstream! Uh, Gaspar Noé, maybe? Not really. Roman Polanski. Um, the Tendant. One of the most creepy movies to me. Uh, one of my favorite creepy movies is The Tendant from 1976. Wow, I love that movie. Don't want to watch it too often. It's not really, you know, you, you gotta watch it. You, it's, it's really nice. Need to really concentrate on the details. And maybe watch it again and you'll still find new stuff like oh yeah there's another hint for that's what's coming at the end yeah whatever uh, and David Cronenberg sometimes I love the body horror some body horrors um, what was the movie by David Cronenberg I like I like the most Naked Lunch Elliot Wiss are there bands which you have to see live every time you have the opportunity to? Uh, yes, it's um, it's funny. Uh, 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 milking the Gold Machine, but just for funny reasons. And uh, Inquisition. Oh, that was the last question. That was quick. I don't know what to do now. You know, it's one of these Fridays where I got nothing. No appointments, nothing. It's nice. Maybe I shoot another video. It's now 8 p.m. I can shoot another video. I got an idea when I was uh, running this morning. Go for a run? What do you say in English? I don't know. Beer is getting warm. Time to end the video. See you next time and uh, click on whatever that is. And Well, that's an awesome video. Obviously. I mean, like, look at it. Whew.